Hey guys, remember if y'all want to play with me or join my free company, the name of my free company and server and data center will be in light letters at the bottom of this video and also in the description below. Gamers and gamettes, what is going on? My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to an FFXIV PS4 Stormblood video. Well, I'm going to have to fix that because that's a lot to say. It doesn't even go right together. But anyway, I'll fix that. But anyway, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another FFXIV video. And today I am doing a very, very basic rotation and startup guide for Samurai. Now, before we get into this video, I want to make a few disclaimers. Number one, Samurai is a brand new class that has only literally been out for about four or five days now. I am no expert on Samurai. I do not know everything everything on it. This is just a basic starter tutorial, you know, sh to help you guys get started. This is everything I've learned and stuff like that, so feel free to school me in the in the in the comments below. What I'm trying to say here is guys, simply because I know when you know people see people play classes wrong or not quite how they want to, they get very cringy. Like I I'm I'm not going to lie, you know, it's a common thing, you know, people get cringy when you know how to do something perfectly and you see somebody else doing it and it's so off and they swear it's perfect. So trust me, I get how you feel. I know how I, I know the feeling. But um for this though guys, what we wanna what we're gonna what we're gonna do is just you know we're gonna go over some real b simple basis. We're gonna talk about the moves, you know, a few of the buffs and things like that. We're not gonna go too in depth because I can't do a guide like that until I'm level seventy. As you guys can see down here, I'm level fifty two. I'm nowhere near prepared, you know, to do a full on hardcore guide for this class. But this is just, you know, something simple keep you get started you know and start some conversation you know down in the comments below you know let's try and school this class school ourselves on this class get a big good rotation going you know and stuff like that you know just just learn learn all learn all about it you know as much as to we can as you know as possible so you know we're going to start with actions and traits we're going to start with some of the cross class abilities i picked up these are just you know personally you know just a few that i use as um as a dps that i've seen but uh, if you guys have any other recommendations for me and stuff you'd recommend um Please, you know, let me know. Second win, um, anytime you pull aggro, you know, you get some HP knocked off your common sense, you know, have, have, have second win on you. Invigorate, everyone has those speed runs, you know, where you got to spam your AOE moves and stuff like that, you know, to kill as many enemies as possible. You want something that's going to restore your TP. Now, honestly, I don't have it on here, as you guys can see. Goad, um, I would definitely recommend using that because, like I said, speed runs, you're spamming. You're spamming, you know, um, AOE moves. They use a lot of TP. So, you know, you want to be able to restore the TP of your party members as well to keep, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, going efficient so you can get those runs done done quickly. Um, Crutch is also another good one. Um, uh, True North, I haven't experimented with this, this one too much. Nullifies all action direction requirements. I thought that worked like a similar buff on samurai which i'm going to explain later on that's why i put it on but it actually doesn't so that one i still got to figure out that one i don't know too much on if you know much about that then you know feel free to comment below faint um that's another good one to add for for dps lowers target strength and dexterity by 10 by 10 percent um that can you know that can you know help out the tank mostly but you know it's it's a pretty good you know thing bloodbath i personally carry that converts a portion of physical damage dealt in HP, like I said, for those times, you know, where you accidentally take aggro and stuff like that, you want that. Diversion, definitely a good one, especially for Samurai, because this class is good at pulling, pulling aggro, especially, you know, once you get your rotation up there, you know, your gauges are filling up and, you know, you're just on fire, you're that guy, and trust me, you know, not to brag, but I've been there. So, trust me, you know, put diversion on. Matter of fact, I'm putting diversion on right now. As you guys can see, I just added that. And then, you know, Arm's Length, um, that's another good one. It creates a barrier, nullifying knockback and drawing effects, um, which is another good one I'd recommend. So, honestly, guys, I would just, you know, pick the ones out of these that you like. But if I had to pick five, I would say Second Win, Invigorate, Goad, um, Bloodbath, and Diversion. That's just, you know, that's just, you know, my personal opinion. Now, you're probably either going to need Leg Sweep or... Um, Leg sweep, or uh, I believe there was another one that like stunned or something like that. No, leg sweep just it stun target. Yeah, just for you know those raid mechanics and stuff like that. So you know, I would find find some space for for leg sweep in there. You remember, matter of fact, I'm gonna take true north off, and I'm gonna toss leg sweep on in. There we go. All right, there's my there's my recommended five. That's just you know my my personal opinion. But honestly, um, I do think you know some groups should have should have goad. I don't know. That's not that's not really the most most important though part though. Now let's get down to the job, you know, talk about some of these moves and stuff like that. Now I'm only going to be covering up to level 50. So um, we're not going to go any higher than that, you know, we're just going to keep it really simple. 
You got um, Hakaze, delivers an attack with a potency of 150. Basic, you know, slash the enemy move. You got Jinpu, delivers an attack with a potency of 100, combo action is Hakaze, and increases your damage dealt by 10%, and it lasts 30 seconds. Now, I want you to keep your eyes on Jinpu, because Jinpu is something you want to always keep up. Third eye reduces the amount of damage taken by next attack by 5%. Um, anytime you know you picture yourself getting hit by something hard, you know, throw third third eye up. I do keep that on my main hot bar. Ageha. What Ageha is is basically, you know, just one of those attacks that you deal um that you deal uh when you know the enemy's HP is low. You guys see it delivers an attack with potency 250, increases Kenki gauge by 10. 30 if killing blow is dealt, can only be executed when a target's HP is below 20%. So it kind of works like you know blood letter on bard and you know and stuff like that. You guys you guys get the picture with a geha. So you know that's one that's one you want to keep on your hot bar as much as well. NP delivers a ranged attack with a potency of 100, increases Kenki gauge by five. Now I use NP as an opener sometimes, and because of that Kenki gauge increase, that's why. But I'll get into that um, later on. Shifu delivers an attack with a potency of 100. Combo action is Hakaze. And its combo bonus is reduces weapon skill cast time and recast time. Spell cast time and recast time. And auto attack delay by 10%. Lasts is 30 seconds. Shifu and Jinpu are two things that you want to keep up all the time. And we're going to get into that, um, we're going to get into that why later on. Now, Fuga is a delivers an attack with potency of 100 to all enemies. That's one of your AoE moves. Now, Samurai is a rare new cool thing. It has an AoE combo, which we're going to get into and here in a few minutes because we're almost at that move. The next move is um is Gek is um Gecko, which it does delivers an attack with potency of 100. Combo action is Jinpu. So so Hakai Hakai Hakai's Jinpu Gecko. That's you know that's going to be one of your basic basic combos. We're going to get into that one in, in a second. But the combo potency 400 increases Kenki gauge by five. Keep in mind keep that Kenki gauge. Keep your guys on that Kenki gauge. I'm going to show you guys why and why that's so important in a minute. And then Laijutsu, I, I probably said that freaking wrong, but executes a weapon skill depending on current number of Sen stored in Sen gauge. Haigenbana, Tenka Goken, Midair Seku Gekka. Now, these moves are all very important. Haigenbana, not so much. Uh, it is, it's an AoE attack. It's a good one, don't get me wrong. But Tenka Goken and Midair Sugeka are the two you really, really, really want to make sure you always have access to. And we're going to talk about why, what's so important about those later on once we get to the bottom of the list. Mangetsu. Now, remember when I was telling you guys that, you know, there's an AoE combo attack. Well, Fuga and Mangetsu go together. So you're burning double TP when you use these things. This is why I was telling you guys that it's important to have Invigorate because this class, when you're doing, you know, that AoE crazy stuff, this class uses a lot of TP, a ton of TP. I'm telling you, that's 280 TP at a time. That's like freaking... That's like Dark Knight MP usage status, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you guys know it's a follow-up attack. Deliver an attack to enemies with a potency of 100 for the first enemy, 10% for the less for the second, 20% less for the third, 30%, 4th, 40% less for the fifth, 50% less for all amazing enemies, blah, 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 blah. And combo potency, 200%. So that's why it's, you know, always important, you know, to keep it, um, to keep it on the combos because, you know, it's going to reduce that potency on every enemy around you. And you're also going to get, you know, a potency of, um, of 200 rather than you know 100 so you know always combo fuga and mangetsu together now kasha delivers an attack with a potency of 100 combo action is shifu so your other combo is going to be Haka hakaze shifu kasha now not only is that important because of um you know getting the shifu buff but it also increases your kenki gauge by five and grants you ka which is another thing we'll get into. Um, we'll get into later on. Combo potency, 400. You guys know that when you get when your numbers get high, that means you're beating ass. You're doing thousands. You're just kicking. You're kicking the crap out of out of people. Now, Oka delivers an attack to to uh, to nearby enemies with a potency of 100. First enemy, 10% for, for a second. Blah blah blah. Sounds 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 pretty familiar. This one con this one can also combo with um with Fuga. It also um, grants, you know, grants Ka as well. So, you know, you got Fuga and Mangetsu, and then you have Fuga and Oka. All right, keep those, keep those in mind. You know, always, um, 
always you know combo up your AOE attacks because you're just you know you're gonna do more damage you're gonna buff up the objective here is this it kind of works like monk you want to keep yourself you know as buffed you want to keep as many of these things on you as possible now Yuki Kaze is another another arm um, weapon skill this is a this is a short combo this just combos up with Hakaze and delivers an attack with a potency of 100 combo potency 340 however it reduces target slashing resistance by 10 percent so Here's what you want to. Here's what you um. Here's what you guys want to do. You want to make sure you're keeping up. Yukikaze, Shifu, and Jinpu. You want to keep those three up on your enemies as much as possible. That's the main the main thing of this class. Now this is a really cool one. Mekyo Shisui or Shisu. I don't. Uh, God forgive me, guys. I don't even know how. I'm saying this stuff so wrong, and I'm, I know you're going to smash that dislike button. But execute up to three weapon skill combos without meeting combo prerequisites. Does not affect Laijutsu. Now, the reason this is so cool, right? I'm going to show you guys. Say, um... Alright, you know, I'm just going to have to show you with that. Maiko Shitsui. Um, this one I'm going to give you guys an example, because some people just may not get it. Where's the um? Where's the target dummy here? Here we go. Le level one striking dummy. So I'm not level sixty, so I don't want to you know be missing and all that stuff. But when you turn this on, right? Notice everything I can combo with is glowing. So I can take the highest potency attack and just use it over and over again until the buff runs out. That's what's cool about that's what's cool about that one. So now let's get on to some basic. Let's get on to some basic combos. But before, but um. So we're going to start, like I told you guys, your opener, to my personal recommendation, I recommend Akaze Jinpu, which, you know, gives you the Jinpu buff, as you see applied to me, and then Gecko. Gecko is a really good finisher. And then secondly, you want to do Hakaze Shifu, which gives you the Shifu buff, and then Kasha. Now, you guys are going to notice that Jinpu has a 30 second cooldown and Shifu has a 20 second cooldown. These two you want to keep up as much as possible but also while you're doing that you also want to make sure you do Hakaze and Yukikaze as well. The reason you want Yukikaze on your enemy is because that reduces slashing resistance. Now you're going to heavily increase your combo potency when you guys um, do that. Now, you notice my gauge over here on the right. You notice all three of them are glowing after I just did that real simple rotation of just those three things. Well, it's also going to give me Midair Setsu Gekka, which is probably the highest potency move Samurai has at this level. And I'm going to give you guys, I'll give you guys an example of that. But these moves, the reason you want to be careful about these ones, they have a casting time. They don't use M MP, but they do have a casting time. Now, Laijutsu. That's the one that was telling you that um that Maiko Shisui does not affect. And the reason for that is because Laijutsu is dependent on how good you do your rotations. So, in order to build up to build up that gauge, you just want to make sure you keep applying points. Hakaze, Jinpu, Gecko. My first gauge fills up. Hakaze. Shifu. Now you guys are gonna notice here in the bottom right where that Laijutsu was, I now have Higan Bana. You get Higan Bana by filling up that first gauge, and Higan Bana is a damage over time move that lasts for a whole minute. Meaning you have a whole minute to make sure you get that Higan Bana back up. And I'm gonna show you guys those three moves right now, because forgive me, I didn't go through them go through them the first time. Higan Bana, not only does it have a potency of 240. But also does damage over time, and the potency of that is, you know, 35. Tenka Gokin is just, you know, it's just another AoE attack. This one's a cone-shaped AoE instead of, you know, like a circular AoE. And mid, mid there, Setsu Gekka is just strong as hell. You guys saw, you know, I have a low gear level and everything. I'm only level, I'm only um 52, and you guys saw it did, you know, like 17, 1700 damage. Well, imagine what it's gonna be like, you know, once I get, you know. And my 250, 260, 270 gear, I have a decent weapon and all that and all that good stuff. Now, as of AOE, as of AOE combos, 
Another thing you want to keep, you want to keep man gets suit. They're real simple. Use them both side by side. Fuga, man gets suit. But like I said, that's 280 TP every time you use that, every time you use that combo. So what you guys want to make sure is you have yourself some invigorate. And if you got a buddy that has goad, that'll also, that'll also help you as well. But yeah, guys, like I said, Samurai is real basic, um, real simple, uh, real simple so far. It's definitely a good class. Now I'm going to show you guys my personal rotation and opener, you know, how I start off this class. Now I know you guys remember NP, it's the range attack. The reason I use NP is because that helps build up my gauge too. So I always start off with NP, especially, you know, if there's an enemy just, you know, far away from me. Sometimes it won't be in range. I go Hikaze, Jinpu, Gecko. I'll cast Higanbana, Hikaze, Shifu, Kasha, and then I'll do Hikaze, Yukikaze. The reason I start off with Hakaze Jinpu is because that's the longest lasting one. That one I can always um always have time to come back to. Like by the time I'm ready to do my Hakaze Jinpu again, as you guys can see, my Jinpu just ran out a few seconds ago. And I was sitting there, you know, wasting time talking. I still had plenty of time to time to do it. And as you guys can see, I've only done this rotation fully one time and brought the second combo in. I already have my midair Setsu Geka. Sorry if I'm once again, sorry if you know if I'm saying that wrong. Back up. So Madara sets Gekka and Pow. But like I said, the main thing you want to do is keep the keep the buffs up, the Jinpu, and the Shifu, and the um, sorry, and the Yukikaze. Keep those buffs up. You know, to decrease your damage and um, ruin their uh, their slashing their slashing resistance. But most of all, just keep an eye on keep an eye on your gauge. Make sure you have that. Make sure you have that built up properly. So that way you can always cast Higa and Bana and you always have that damage over time going. Like, trust me guys, that Higa and Bana helps. And having a minute of damage over time is, mwah, it works. It's freaking awesome. It is great. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for my basic Samurai Guide. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. If you guys have any tips, you know, anything, you know, any openers, any kind of guy, any kind of, you know, recommendations y'all want to leave for me at all, leave them in the comments below. I'm open for discussion. I'm open, you know, to talk about this. I know, you know, this guide probably is not the most perfect thing on the planet, but, you know, I definitely think, you know, it'll help a lot of you guys out as of getting started. The main purpose of this guide is, hey, you're starting with level 50 class. You're being hit with a thousand moves. How should I start off, you know, everything out? And that's, you know, what I'm trying to do here. But like I said, guys, enjoy the video. Smash the thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.